doing? Just turn all turn all the way around. Just turn all the way around. Just keep go back out here. So uh, Milo decided to do 180. Come on, man! What the fuck is you doing, cuz? All episodes brought to you by my patron for only $10 a month. You do get full access to my members area with hundreds of other sailors all looking to get on the water sooner than later. All right, ladies and gents, we've left the U.S. Virgin Islands. We are currently going to be heading to the Spanish Virgin Islands, which is that way. So goodbye, Charlotte Amel, St. John. It's been real. Now, as you can see here, Milo is at the back of the vessel, pondering life's great mysteries. These are some of the bigger swells he's seen so far. Now, keep in mind, he is a brand new sail, and we all started somewhere. So the first time you get these 10, 15 foot swells, you know, it can be a little bit intimidating for the newer sailors. So don't judge new sailors. We all started somewhere, and Milo so far has done a fantastic job. So as you can see here, we do have some bigger swells coming in. Nothing wild and out of control. They are about 10, 15 foot with the occasional wild 20 footer. No big deal. But again, for a new sailor, it can be intimidating. So you've always got to cut the guys some slack. And one of the most impossible things to ever try and catch on film is the actual size of these. They all look like they're three foot lake sailing. Trust me, they are not. Up here in a second, we'll get about a 10 foot roller coming in. And again, not huge, but keep this in mind if you're looking to start sailing, you will encounter this and much, much more when it becomes time for you to take off and start your full time sailing adventure. Woo! The drop, okay, it pounded. Now this for me is my favorite type of sailing. I love 30, 40 foot rollers. It is my absolute paradise Surfing, on water. But everybody has different things that they enjoy. One is not better than the other. Go for the sailing that you like to do. We got, all right, ladies and gentlemen, we got Milo helming. It's a little, little, got some decent sized waves coming and going. Decent little breeze. It's been fun, interesting. We got some unfamiliar noises going on right now. Yep, a little bit of vibrations because big weather. Well, big weather's building, so. Gonna be surfing some waves here. Getting a little bit more rolly out here so far. And someone's phone's ringing, but I don't think we'll be answering that right now. That's yours, yeah. Probably. Uh, <laughs> Joanna, he's sorry. I'll call you back in a minute. <laughs> See, Joanna, not his fault. He was trying, getting tossed around on the boat, but he, it was A for effort. And I heard somewhere once it was the thought the that counts. Passage, the Virgin Passage. All right, we got a little bit of a narrow channel here coming into uh, Vieques. Hopefully you guys can see that on the video. What are you doing? Just turn all, turn all the way around. Just turn all the way around. Just keep, go back out here. Straighten it out. So, uh, Milo decided to do 180. Let's go out this way a little bit. So go to port side towards that red buoy a little bit and then we'll swing back around. Here's the man of the hour. I just happened to be filming right when you did that. <laughs> Spin it 
back around. This way or this way? Hard and fast. You can also use your bow thruster to kick it over. Bow thruster as well. Both at the same time. Kick it over. You gotta kick it over. You can come back from where it's over. There you go. Bow thruster. Now straighten out your course. Now just relax, it's okay. So I fucking, I, I think I put it in autopilot. I sit down and check the map. And it? And it's not in autopilot. <laughs> That's what happened. <laughs> I mean, that, that was a pretty bad spot to do a 360 when you've only got a 30 foot channel. You know, the boat handles well. Hey dude, help me! <laughs> yeah. Help, help, help! I'm like, calm down, you'll be alright. Good recovery. Now, take her easy and get us through these two markers. And then once we're through, Autopilot. Don't let go of the helm until you make sure what that it's on autopilot. <laughs> you give it more throttle, it'll steer better. <laughs> nice Woo! one, bro. Nice one. Red right return, ladies and gents. Red right return. Alright, let's try this again. Autopilot. <laughs> now don't let go of the helm until you make sure that it's on autopilot. And make sure you adjust your course by the degrees. Make sure you're in the channel. Double check with your chart. Double check on your chart, make sure everything's good. You got your next buoy coming up. That's it, that red one the last one. And then you're just in. Go to port a little bit. You get a little freaked out there, buddy? Fuck yeah. <laughs> I'm glad I did it, though. Yeah, you're fine, man. Every day's got one butthole pucker moment. Every Lots day. We're coming out, they go, I wonder if this is going to be the one today. Not going for it, bro. <laughs> Here, help me, help me. I'm like, bruh, do a 360, do a 180. <laughs> we'll go back out. Look at that sandbar, get me closer by the second. <laughs> help me, help me. <laughs> it's all good, man. It's all part of the learning process. No big deal. Don't beat yourself up about it. That's nice place. What are those? Nice. All right, I got to go anchor. Hold on, please. Took the dinghy up to a restaurant. Had all these tarpon right there. It was kind of cool to check out. This is the Spanish Virgin Island known as Calubra. Incredibly small island, doesn't offer much, but it is absolutely gorgeous. All right, we're here in the Spanish Virgin Islands and we're on a gas mission. It's interesting. So far, so good. How are we doing, Milo? Not bad. I'm super tired. Gasolina. Some wild chickens. Come first and then pay, or? I'm like, you might have to go and tell her first.
All right, well, here we are on a little refill mission completed. Joe was on the lookout for the dinghy, pulled up to some random beach, and walked over to get gas. All episodes brought to you by my patron for only $10 a month. You do get full access to my members area with hundreds of other sailors all looking to get on the water sooner than later.